So I just picked up some 3 8 lava rock this morning. Now I'm gonna work on this grow bed. Basically, I'm gonna replace this, uh, whatever you call it, media guard that is in this one because it's not tall enough. And then I'm gonna rinse the lava rock and stick it in here. Ideally, that hydroton, which you see, which is over here, I'm gonna try to put it on top so I have to take most of it out and then get the lava rock on bottom because this is nicer on the hands. So the lava rock is nice to use because it's cheap, a lot cheaper than the hydrotone. It's not as light, but it does the same purpose, has a lot of surface area. Oops. So that would be good for that. So pretty much in this video, I'm just gonna rinse some lava rock, add it in here, maybe transplant or move my Haro, which is over there, which is getting quite big for that spot. It's try, try, uh, starting to grow quite rapidly, which I think could be because now the fish are in the system and they're able to re make a lot of waste so the bacteria is starting to grow so I feel like now the system's starting to mature well not mature yet but it's starting to increase its productivity so the plants I'll be able to start that soon so that will be moved in here and then later on I'll show you uh, maybe uh, how I'm gonna start um, some what's it called uh, Moringa plant. So I'm gonna try two different ways. I'm gonna plant a few seeds in here and then I'm gonna start a few seeds just out and see which one does better. And I'll also make a video about that. So that will be that. Here are the pipe I got. It took me some time to get these since they're quite expensive and I was looking for them used. So I got, I think this is like a six inch, eight inch, and then 12 inch is which the one I'll be using for that grow bed. So that's a nice size diameter. It'll be a good, good for the, um, good media guard so i have to cut a two feet piece off and put it in there and then these other ones will be used for the filter which you may or may not see before this video i'm not sure which one i'll post first i still need to work on it so we'll see how that goes but that's what i'll use so i have the lines drawn here or the little marks so that's what i'll follow around i'll just be using a handsaw do that too straight so I'll see if I can maybe sand it down put it on the table over there and then get it as I, mean, I can't really get it level because the other side was not cut straight so I'll see what I can do though so I have all these marks I made here it's basically two inches Two inches from there to there, two inches from there to there, and then two inches from there to there. And there is up to 10 inches here. Ideally, I would want to make like slits like that, but I don't have the proper saw to do them. And I could do that with a circular saw, but that's gonna take a long time and be tough to do. So I might just, do, so I might just drill holes, so we'll see how that goes. Finish making this media guard. I basically have holes all the way around. There's a total of 240 holes, so it took some time. And then also at the bottom, I made these little holes as well, so that the water can come from the bottom. I made as many as I can. I could make more, but I made a good amount. That way, nothing gets clogged. And if anything does happen, I have holes up here that will help. This is like so the grow bit itself is about 18 inches tall. This is about 16 and a half inches and that is 18 inches to the center. So these are just safety precaution in case anything does get clogged. But I have that here. Now all I need to do is rinse it out. Probably scrub it a little since it's got dirt and stuff in there and then clean these holes up to the best I can. 
but that is one way to make a media, gu media guard. If you have, I don't know what it's called, a table saw, I think that might be what it's called. That saw that has the blade just sticking up here. I'll look it up and post it right up there. And then you can make easier cuts if you wanted to go along here or even diagonal. But since I don't have one and most people don't, if you just have a drill, this works perfectly fine. I just finished making this media guard. It took a long time to do this. It's 240 holes, which I did mention earlier. After making all the holes, I used a knife and I basically scraped the inside and outside of all of them. So that took some time and then I washed it off. So the one I had here before looked like this. It was made out of a bucket. So if you wanted to make a media guard this size and you can't find the pipe, a bucket works fine. Pretty much the same concept. I just left a little ring, small like half inch ring around the bottom. That way the bucket has more stability since it's not as strong plastic as say this uh, quarter inch pipe. I mean quarter inch thickness. So in this one I might do a half bell siphon or just have it a constant height because my sump tank is not big enough. Well I was only limited to the size I had. So that's the one I have there. It's all the way full since I have the pump off because I needed to move all this media so I can get this in there. I was thinking to put a pipe underneath here with a bunch of holes in it in case I needed to just wanted to put air under air underneath all the media so that it can invigorate everything up and I can suck that all up later but we'll see if I decide to do that either today or tomorrow since I don't think I have time to put all the media or the lava rock in here but you can see how that media guard is so that's very simple to make it just takes time you don't have to order a special one just a matter of getting the right size PVC. So I'm using this size diameter, which is 12 inch, because I'm gonna put a two inch bell siphon in here. So we'll see how that goes. I wish that hole could have been more this way, but that's just where it was already on this grow bed when I got them. So here's the lava rock I got. It is 3 eighths. So I'll give it a good rinse in here, and then also when I take it out, Unfortunately, it wastes a lot of water to rinse it, but I don't want all this stuff Which you see there in my aquaponic system So I'll first rinse it in here make a pipe in here to stick there I'll probably make it like a half bell siphon so the water only drains out half of this and then fills back up but because of that bulkhead which is supposed to be two inch but isn't quite I have to basically shave down a two inch pipe to kind of something like no not that side can't really make it out but I got to shave it down some more so it can fit there that's pretty much what's next I'm pretty much done with this grow bed. So I have all the lava rock over here, the hydroton over here. I left the hydroton here because I didn't want to bother moving it. Plus it's going to get mixed up if I put it on there. So it's really no point in moving it. And then I have these right here for the water. The water is higher than I want it right now. So I just have to adjust the pipe over there, cut a bit of it off and put it lower. And then this is the media guard. 
So that's a big media guard. Well, that's all for this video. It was just a video on making the media guard for this particular grow bed and basically putting the hydroton in here and whatever uh, else for this grow bed. So that's pretty much done. Now I can plant some plants in here and start growing some more things.